Hello all, uh, welcome to another session. So in this session, I'm going to uh, explain about the how to create the profit center, cost center group and uh, how to create the cost center master data. So uh, I believe uh, we have already created the cost center hierarchy at the time when we are creating the concluding age. Okay, I will show you again one more time here. Uh, so to check the uh, cost center uh, hierarchy, you need to access the transaction code OKKP. Okay, and controlling area is 2001 just double click here so here we can see uh, this is my cost center standard hierarchy so while creating the controlling area at that time only we have created this uh, cost center hierarchy now we will be creating the cost center uh, group by using the transaction code kshh1 so here just uh, here you can see create cost center group and click on enter okay. so here i will be mentioning the this is a hierarchy uh, below to this hierarchy i am going to create the uh, cost center group so here we need a six group okay the first one would be hr and second one admin third one it fourth one marketing and fifth one sales and the final one is finance just copy the description paste it here click on save so we have created the uh, uh, six account group six uh, cost center groups now we will see how to create the cost center master data so to create the cost center master data we need to access the transaction code ks01 so here we need to give the cost center name zero one okay valid from six point zero one six zero one twenty twenty four to thirteen twelve triple nine just hit enter and then I'm maintaining the same name in my own test and the description and cost and response will be mentioning as X and then cost center category so click on F4 here this is a HR, right? So here I will be selecting as a or in management also we can select or any administration also we can select. So in my case, I'm selecting administration. So here I have to give the cost center group. Cost center group is HR, and then company code is two zero zero nine, and then profit center. The profit center would be HR. One, just hit enter. Okay, then click on save. So we have created the cost center for company code two zero zero nine. Okay, if you want to create the same cost center, uh, you need to create. A, we cannot create the same cost center to another company code. Uh, so if you want to create a to another company code then we have to change the numbering so i will be mentioning 2010 and enter copy another company code is this one and then here also profit center is same Save. So we have created the cost center in two company code. To display the cost center, sorry, to change the cost center, we need to access the transaction code KS02. Just give the controlling area and cost center, then we can be able to change these fields here. And then when you come into control tab, uh, here we can uh, log uh, if you want to only actual posting, actual uh, actual postings needs to be done. We can 
you can control here if you want only secondary cost post will be visible based on our requirement we can control here and here we can see the template here we can maintain the statistical key figure and all those things and here uh, we can maintain the cost center address uh, district and uh, tax division few of those things all those things and these are the, all the communication details and this is the uh, history when this uh, call center has been created all these things will be captured here so to display the call center we need to use the transaction code ks 3 and here we need to use the controlling area and call center and then hit enter so we can display the call center master here so this is how we have to create the call center group and the cost center master data and distribution. So that's all in this session. Hope you for watching.